Chit, 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 you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, CodingPhase.com, your boy's back and I done did it again. Today I'm bringing you a couple of good resources that you should definitely look out if you are into working with PhaserJS, okay? So, here it is, all right? You could definitely check out Phaser.io, right, which is the homepage for PhaserJS. Check out the Learn section, they have some cool parts here where they'll go over the basics as far as getting started currently right now the latest version is phaser 3 so i will say try to stick to phaser 3 okay if you click in here you will find a very simple game to get you started you know just as a very simple one time off game right then from there you also have the api documentation that i'll be honest it's not that great <laughs> The documentation can be a little bit confusing. Um, I don't know who who made the documentation, to be honest with you. Like, who thought this was a good idea to have all of the classes here and on the scenes and everything. Like, it just, it's hard to find certain things. Like, if I wanted to search something about, let's say, for example, scene, right? If I wanted to search for scene, for whatever reason, it'll give me every single class that uses scene, like, or that even talked about scene, like, it's really bad when it comes to that, right, but once you get used to actually understanding, like, how to find certain things, like, the API is actually good, okay, now, the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is, uh, somebody created this thing called notes of phaser three like this how you know the documentation is the way how it's set up it's bad when somebody has to write their own notes so this guy called rex rainbow he actually created this thing uh this page and basically to me it's so much simpler like if i want to talk about like let's say game objects or let's say sprites right single image i come here click on the image you see load texture shows me how to load it add an image object you know add an image from a json like everything that you need is there right and to me it's more organized than how it is here because if i wanted to do the same thing like let's see if we could find it <laughs> like we got to come here to sprite right we go to the class and like i don't know it just for me the the small letters the way how things is set up i just feel like it's not a good documentation for beginners okay now uh that's why i would say hey guys check out the notes right <laughs> whoever this guy is rex rainbow thank you bro because you save me so much time <laughs> like for real okay uh also too we have another program called shoebox so like let's say you're using somebody's sprites right you go to uh, open art right so it's was it? open art uh let me see open game art sorry yeah so open game art right and you could come here and browse for let's say 2d art and let's say platformer so let's just click on this one right basics okay it's loading all right so this is the the tiles that you have access to this is the sprites right let's say you wanted to get that right you could come here download the image right you have all the text etc but now you can use uh this program called shoebox to actually slice up your your images right and not only that you could also use them as a atlas right and the atlas is when you take a whole bunch of sprites and you put them into one image so it's like one image is all that's being loaded you know so it saves you from doing a whole bunch of different requests because if you have 30 different characters and you have to load every single character individually then it's going to be a problem but when you use an atlas which is just a big image right then you save yourself that time you can also extract the images from like something like that like how we have here you actually extract it piece by piece okay now you can also use tile map 
right? So this is a tile map editor, right? You could create your own games. I think I've shown you guys before on the YouTube channel uh, a couple of little things like how to make a little level, you know, little things like that. And this is actually being recorded right now and it's going to be a part of the course for phaser js so we're also going to be using this and i'm going to go into all of these tools right but i just wanted to let you guys know there's a couple of resources here that you guys should definitely check out okay so definitely also check out the example section so you come here to the phaser dio right and you click on phaser 3 labs now from here you could come and check out different games that have been created for example like you will see how they created a snake game okay right and you can actually look at the code okay let me just get this last thing oh uh, this last one okay I'm, I'm getting this last one okay my fault okay hold on hold on hold on let me just get this one okay i'm gonna get this other one it's right there it's right in front of me okay <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm too much, right? So, all right. So, basically, you could actually look in here and see uh, how they made this game. Okay, so you could use this as an example of, like, let's say, hey, I want to create a, a snake game. You could actually get the ideas from here and see how they actually created it. Okay, you have other games in there that you could also check out you know uh there's also uh things like let's say you want to work with the game objects images or groups like they have examples on how to do things like it's pretty cool okay as you can see all right and all of the code is there for you that's why it's there it's called the phaser 3 labs okay that's where all the examples are there okay <laughs> you know it just saves you so much time you know like let's say you wanted to work with tile maps you know how to do that now through here and you'll see how to load a csv file if you wanted to know how to load a json file you can also load the json file if you wanted to work with let's say the the physics so you could come here to let's say where is it come back down here uh let's see where is it game objects um nah it's not there let me see another thing you could also just search it and be like yo physics <laughs> make your life easier okay so come here let's say physics arcade all right so you could see how to work with the physics engine okay pretty simple click on edit and then you figure out from here how they did it okay you could come here run the code and you'll see that you could come here and change this and say uh, 125 or 120 let's say run the code you'll see that this starts there if you want let's say 500 run the code okay set velocity change it to 500 run the code so you can see it goes faster like literally play around see the examples that's there and play around with them okay guys it's not that hard okay so let's go back into this and like i said there's the examples here on the phaser labs 3 okay and to get here the easiest way to do this is go to phaser the io sometimes you know there's a lot of a lot of nuggets inside the website that i wish if i was to be the guy that goes in there and like retouch this whole website i would just like fix so many things so many bugs that's in there because it's like the user experience sucks in the phaser the io website but if you take your time <laughs> and go in there and just like look in there and try to figure it out like where things are at you're gonna find your your answers whenever you're stuck or you need like an example okay because it's like even right now like let's say i want to do the phaser three right like i click here phaser three and it's like no there's nothing here about like the examples or anything so i have to come here to the examples and then i have to make sure that it's like oh phaser two examples but wait the latest one is phaser three so i have to make sure i click here and it's like wait what like <laughs> you kind of mess up like <laughs> like this is one of the reasons why um i love and hate this this uh this website but at the same time like i said man 
Check out the documentation, the API documentation. Check out the notes, which is going to save you so much time. If you can't find it in the API, this guy wrote amazing notes, okay? So check him out. You're working with sprites. Check out this. This is way cheaper. Now, there's another one called Texture, uh, texture Packer. Yeah, I think so. Texture Packer, okay? but you got to pay for it you know it's like nobody wants to pay for anything you know so it's like hey man get the free one okay <laughs> or, or support them you know texture packer you know i don't want to kill their game either but i don't even know i think it's like 15 dollars or something like that to get the license you know so it is what it is man i'm gonna see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com i hope you guys enjoyed uh this type of content definitely check out um the course and if you're watching this right now on the course like yeah man this are the resources all right i'm gonna see you guys later peace